Uh, hello guys, this is Ali Alidus, also known as Nightingale. I am the developer of the extended video exports mod for GTA 5. Through the years, many of you have been using my mod to enhance your videos and I am flattered by the feedback uh, you guys gave me regarding the uh, quality and uh, value it adds to your videos. So basically what this mod does is that instead of the low quality video that Rockstar Editor gives you, it uh, exports the video in a better quality uh, using other encoders than the default one. It also adds this high quality motion blur effect to your videos for high fidelity cinematics. Uh, through this video, I will guide you uh, on how to install and use this mod to uh, export better videos and have control over the quality of your exports. Let's go! Before you can use the mod, you need to install a couple of dependencies. First of all, head to vocoder.org and in the download section, download the latest version of vocoder which I will link below uh, just download it and install it it doesn't need any configuration you have to just install the package uh, after that you need to uh, install the latest version of Microsoft Visual C++ redistributable package uh, x64 which I will link also below uh, and you have to install that as well. Now you gotta download the mod from the gta5mods.com's website. Uh, I will also put a link to the mod below. Uh, you just have to download the latest version and open it. And then you have to copy these two to your GTA5 uh, directory. Here, uh, I have to remove the oldest old version first. Then remove these two files, and I copy these two into my GTA 5 directory. Uh, if you are using 5M, you have to go to percent local app data percent 5m uh, inside this directory plugins and then again I have to remove these two files and copy them from the latest package And done, you have installed the mod into your GTA 5 game. Now that you have installed the mod, you have to run the game and wait for it to load. to settings and make sure that uh, your screen type is set to windowed or windowed borderless. Uh, the mod uh, might not work on full screen so use windowed borderless or windowed. Uh, for now I will use windowed uh, because it's the uh, simplest uh, way I can test it. Um, and make sure that in advanced graphics your frame scaling mode is set to off. Uh, for now the mod doesn't work with uh, other values uh, but I'm working on it so uh, for now we have to put it to frame to, uh, to off. Put the frame scaling mode to off. So uh, now we go into the rocks 
our editor, load the project. I have a test project that I use for whenever I change something in the mod, uh, which works for a demo purpose as well. I load the project and uh, export the video. Uh, before that, make uh, these two uh, options uh, don't matter at all. After you have installed my mod, you have to change uh, these settings via uh, the mod itself. So we put them to whatever and uh, export the video. It's a short video, about two seconds long. And uh, now we wait for it to finish. And done. You have exported your first video and it will be in your videos uh, directory in your uh, user account. Uh, so. Right, you have exported your first video using extended video export. To change the mod options, you have to head into your GTA 5 directory and head into the Eve directory here and open up uh, extended video export INR file with your uh, text editor. Here we have a couple of options. Uh, first option enables or disables the mod. For example, if you want to go online or you don't want the performance hit from the mod, you can set it to false. Auto reload config uh, determines that uh, the config is uh, reloaded before each export. So. Uh, Whenever this is set to true, you can alt tab out of the game, change the config and uh, alt, back, alt tab back into the game and export your video with the new settings. Output folder by default is your uh, videos directory, but you can put whatever directory you want uh, here. But you have to make sure that the directory is created beforehand. All right, so I put extended video export directory in drive C here. And log level, you can read about that on the mod page on gta5mods.com. Uh, the default error is uh, only shows you the error uh, messages in the log and uh, you can put multiple values here for debugging and seeing what's wrong with the mod and stuff like that. Uh, the export uh, section has the actual export config. Uh, you change the FPS here. Uh, for example, you can put 60 or uh, 120 or whatever the FPS you want. For the sake of the uh, test, I will go with uh, 60. And motion blur samples uh, determines the quality of the motion blur. Uh, the higher the value, uh, the better the motion blur but uh, it will also increase the video export time so you have to be careful not to put a very large number here uh, for the sake of our test i will put 20 and uh, motion blur strength determines how many of those samples will go into the actual motion blur uh, frame for example, half means only 10 of those 20 will go into the uh, final uh, frame and uh, the other 10 are discarded. Uh, yes, we discard some frames uh, to simulate the shutter effect of uh, video cameras. Uh, this value can be any value from 0 to 1 
and I will put a 0.8 here so we get a, a relatively high motion blur and OpenXR is a format for high dynamic range images uh, if you want to export a high dynamic range image from your uh, GTA you can use this and uh, then you can use a, a video editing app that supports OpenXR or you can use Photoshop to uh, view those images uh, the, this is uh, some expert uh, stuff uh, that I won't cover, cover in this video, maybe another video. And uh, for now, you don't have to uh, uh, change this value. Alright, so we save this file and head back into the game. And export our video again. As you can see, the uh, video is uh, being exported, but at a very lower speed. Uh, this is because of the uh, both FPS and motion blur samples. Uh, you have to be careful with your motion blur samples not to put a very high number, uh, as your exports might take a very long time. So we wait for the export to be finished and then uh, take a look at the video to see how it looks comparing to the original video all right uh, the video is here inside uh, a, a directory that we put in the uh, config file Here's the video, as you can see the motion blur is here, uh, we can replay the video and see how motion blur has affected the surrounding area and the tires and yeah, everything. Uh, so this is uh, the basic uh, configuration of uh, uh, extended video export. Uh, in the next section I will uh, look uh, on the encoding settings and yeah let's see. Alright if you want to uh, change the encoding settings uh, I have uh, put a encoder config uh, executable here for you to try it opens up the vocoder uh, configuration uh, window here you can uh, set the codec to whatever you want if you want if you want to use a gpu for encoding or whatever uh, encoding you want to use if you want a lossless video you can use ffv1 and uh, you can use either the default presets or you can s uh, set your options for each of the encoders here and uh, more here for uh, audio uh, codecs and uh, the same stuff and uh, you have to change you, you can change the output uh, formats of the file MKV, MP4, MOV or whatever uh, you can choose here and yeah after you uh, set your options you can click OK and the preset JSON file will be updated for you to uh, have your exports. So how does the mod work? So basically uh, what it does is uh, that it hooks into the uh, video export pipeline of a Rockstar Editor. Uh, when each frame is ready, it grabs the frame and adds it to an accumulation buffer. And whenever a number of frames have been accumulated, uh, then the frame is sent to the encoder 
and uh, the encoder uh, encodes the uh, video based on the encoding settings that you guys have put there. Why is there no audio or why is the audio out of sync? Uh, well, this is something that I've been working on since uh, I added the frame rate uh, settings and motion blur to the mod but I couldn't fix it no matter what I did uh, I think it's a limitation of uh, the audio subsystem of the game uh, that whenever the frames per second goes above a certain threshold uh, the audio goes out of sync and the audio is unusable when you use high uh, frame rate or you use motion blur. The, uh, the only thing that you guys can do is to uh, export one uh, low quality video with like 30 fps with no motion blur just to have the audio and uh, use uh, whatever you want to export the video. Uh, in high quality and combine them in another software. What's next for the mod? Well, I uh, have no plan for new features, only bug fixes and increasing compa compatibility with uh, different configurations and mods people have. Uh, yeah, that's it for now. So why were there no updates in 8 f***ing years? Uh, well, many things happened uh, in these 8 years. I had to go to mandatory military service back in my country. Then I had to maintain a full-time job just to pay the bills. <laughs> I got married. Uh, and we migrated twice so yeah that was a hell of a ride yeah eight years <laughs> <laughs> yeah so anything to say uh, no so anyways guys uh, don't forget to subscribe this channel and click like of course if you like the video and put your comments below uh, you can also uh, support me on my Patreon, which I will link below. Guys, subscribe! <laughs> <laughs>